15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go. All right, bang, yo. 15 Minutes of Fame, man. I'm here with you. What's up, what's up? We're chilling. We just uh, left this power card. Right. Uh, power 2 card, actually, out here in Detroit. Question Cody through the event. Dope event. How do you feel about the event? Um, overall, I thought it was I thought it was dope. I thought it was a lot of love. You know what I mean? Um, you know, one thing about Detroit, you know, they always, you know, they give you a fair shake. They want they the bars. They always want to hit the bars. So that's that's the you know, I always give them that that respect, man. You know what I mean? Cause they know they know rap. They know the bars, man. So I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a I thought it was a dope card overall. You know what I mean? Had had a lot of. Good matchups, you know what I mean. Shout out to everybody who put the event together. All right, let's start off. Uh, I think uh, B Magic and uh, that was my Matt best battle. Myers went first. Yeah, that was my favorite battle. That was my favorite battle because B Magic is probably like one of my favorite niggas that I like to see rap. You know what I mean? So like, anytime like B Magic rap, you know I'm a fan of him. So you know anybody could. You could date this back to the beginning of when B Magic even popped up on the scene. Like you know, I was, I was always advocating for B Magic and shit. I didn't really know too much about um, the other dude. What's his name again? Mac Myers. Mac Myers. Yeah, I didn't. I really didn't know too much about him, but you know, he definitely, he definitely put on. You know, um, it seemed like they both had similar styles. You know what I mean? Which was, which was kind of dope to me because it kept the pace up. You know, it kept the pace up. So, um, yeah, like you know, I don't, I don't really know who won that. To be honest with you, because I have to, I have to see it again. You know, I will always go with Be Magic because I'm, I'm biased for Be Magic. But you know, me just keeping it all the way official, I will have to watch it again. We had uh, Mr. Mills and Stacks. Yeah. Um, wait, Mr. Mills and Stacks. Which one was that? That was uh, Mr. Mills, heavy set guy. Okay, you know, okay, dude, dude, dude with the on. shirt. He had the shirt on that mm-hmm. said, um, he had a dope shirt on. I remember, I remember him. I didn't really know him. You know what I mean? I didn't know, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know both of them, to be honest with you. But they, they also surprised me, um, cause in the beginning it kind of looked like the stacks dude was going to just take it clearly. But then, then Mr. Mills, that's the heavy set one, right? right? Then he came back with with a um, with an ill second round that kind of shifted the momentum in his favor, I believe. And you know, I think he gained the ground on that on that one. But they both was dope to me. You feel me? Like they both they both got potential. You know, it's just all harvesting that, and you know, being in front of crowds and knowing what to say and what not to say, shit like that. I thought that was dope. I'm, I mean, I, you want me to call a winner? I, I mean, you have to call. I just want to, you know. I'm tired of calling winners, winners man. <laughs> I call winners, niggas get sensitive, man. You know what I mean? Like, niggas be thinking I don't fuck with them just because, you know, if I say you lost. Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie don't want to get in my blog. She heard me. Bonnie heard me, man. She don't want me, she don't want me to call her. Bonnie was the enemy at one point. <laughs> uh, what about um? Let's let's go with um, Midwest Miles and um, Head Ice. How'd you like that? One? I liked it, man. You know that was that was one that was really like a blood, like it was, you know, both of the battles before, like the battles before, it wasn't like they was going for blood type shit. They was going like I felt like it was like whatever. <laughs> But Mal, but my, but Miles and um, and Ice, they, I feel like you know, it kind of went for blood. The first joints. Alright, I just felt like they went for blood. The first one, and um, Miles, he in the beginning, like his Miles' first round was crazy. Like his first round was crazy, you know. But then I thought, then I thought, you know, I thought he kind of slowed up because I think he kind of went to too much joking. In his second and the third rounds, where you know I, I felt he should have stayed on the gas more, you know what I mean? 
and I just feel like Ice, like Ice was just talking like consistently. Like anybody that know me personally, it's like I like the content more. So I like when people say shit that that hit hard, you know what I mean? And I just felt like Ice shit was just hitting way harder, you know, after that first round. Like the first round was like, you know, because Miles' first round was dangerous, but then Ice had a crazy first round. And then when Miles went again, and then when Ice started back over, I remember he said, watch your mouth or some shit. Like when he said, that, fucking talking to him. Who the fuck you talking to, right? As soon as he did that, you know, that was a veteran move. He shifted the momentum and, um, you know, so that's that's what I thought about that. But you know, Miles definitely did his thing. Like Miles, you know, he didn't he didn't look like he didn't look he didn't look he didn't look washed up or nothing. Like he looked good, you know what I mean? So yeah, he had a good comeback. He was um... yeah, yeah. No, I you know I I would watch his battle. You know, I always would watch Miles' battle because you know I I was always fucking with Miles since since the beginning. You know what I mean? Alright, how about a uh, question with Cody Matt Hawk? I didn't really get a chance to watch the whole joint because like by that time it was kinda like I guess the building was like the the energy was kinda like shaky, you know what I mean? Like so the it wasn't really a fair shake in the building to me because it was like I think people was restless, I think people you know what I mean, like people was just trying to get shit over with. But that's the thing when you got events and you got so many battles on the card. Like, you know, after that fourth or fifth battle, it's like, it's hard to keep the motherfucking nigga, the fans' attention and shit, you know what I mean? Because it's like, they done heard all the bars, they done heard everything, they done screamed, they done stood up, you know what I mean? So, you know, I didn't really get a chance to watch that battle. And it was kind of like nasty because it was like, I know they both was gonna say some shit, but it was like, it wasn't, I couldn't really hear niggas. Like, it, I couldn't hear, that's, you know, the mics, the mics, you know, quest, they, they gotta fix that. The mic, they gotta fix that situation. For real. Uh, how about uh, Rex and uh, Mark One? Well, I was up there live and personal for that. Um, I felt like, as far as like, I felt Marv came out. Like, I felt like they both was going to come out how, how I knew they was going to come out. You know what I mean? Like, me knowing, you know, Rex being a part of the family, and, like, I kind of already knew his mindset. And I kind of thought I knew Marv's mindset, too, which which was the same way. It, you know, it was it was, it was was friendly. Like, they wanted, like they didn't really, they didn't want to kill each other. Like, they didn't want to get off on each other. It was like, I think they was just doing it more for, like, you know, pride and, you know, Mom needed to get back from the total slaughter, John. So that you know they they set that up, you know. But I think Marv, you know, Marv is Marv. Like he has slick lines, he has shit, and you know Rex is Rex. He going he going to kick his shit that he kicked. You know what I mean? So I thought that battle was like it was just real. It was a friendly. It was friendly. I think that was pretty much it. I think there was too many other other battles. Um. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, man, I, I was looking forward to that, man. Like, yeah, me too. They were saying Miles and uh, Head Ice were probably going to be the banger of the night. But me, if the Ill Will and Cal would have went down, I, would, I was looking forward to that. Yeah, I didn't know if they was going to, but I didn't know if they was going to be able to, like, you know, the crowd, like I said, man, that would have been, what, the seventh, eighth battle? You know what I mean? That would have been the last battle, yeah. But so. the crowd was already, like, spanky. Like, it was already, the energy was so bad after the joint. And plus, they, when you can't hear, really, on the mics, that throw it way off. That like, you know what I mean? Away too. Yeah, you know what I mean? So niggas start talking, niggas having conversations, they talking about what they gonna do tomorrow and shit like that. And it's not because of the battles was whack. It's because they couldn't hear, you feel mm -hmm. me? So, you know. The energy. Yeah, you know that that's that was a, that was a big a big part of the battle as far as like not being able to hear what people were saying, cause I was in the back, you know what I mean. So I'm in the back, and we all in the back trying to hear what's being said, but we couldn't really hear the shit like that, you know what I mean? When you trying to listen, it always takes your energy away from right from the whole crowd, I mean, from the whole event. So. Right, because it was dope. It was bars being said that was dope, but niggas wasn't catching. Like, Mav said a dope line about a cartwheel. Like, 
Right. His Caldwell so line was, over. but that, that line was like, that was an incredible line, but it was like, people was just like, just whatever, right you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I already know what this is, you know what I mean? I think you should, I think, you know, I, I always, my personal opinion, I think events should be held to four battles, man. Four big boy battles, and that's it. That's the attention span of, of I think, the crowd. Sometimes, because you sit through maybe two or three undercards, you know, then you got four or five uh, big cards, and then it takes a, take the energy away, like you said. Because it's hard when you're standing up through the whole event. Right. So, yeah, no, definitely. When people, when you're there from 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then it's 10.30 at night, 9.30 at night, you know? Energy level goes. Yeah. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Now stepping into 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Yeah. That's my motherfucking jam right there.